100 miles south of Seoul lies Daedak Science Town, the premier research community in South Korea. A fitting location for KAIST Graduate School of Nanoscience and Technology. What we are interested in is the area where physics, chemistry, biology, material science, maybe even electrical engineering meet. And that where um, the fundamental insight and new knowledge can lead to the greatest breakthrough for human lives. KAIST's GSNT is a relatively young department, but already boasts eight full-time faculty and 13 joint appointed professors, including Dr. Sangbok Lee. Professor Sangbok Lee is a WCU professor, which means that he holds a joint appointment both from KAIST and the Department of Chemistry in the University of Maryland. He is a worldwide expert in creating very small things using electrochemistry, such as silicon nanotubes, and applying them to areas of energy and biological research. So every encounter I have with my professor gave me some lessons, and in that way, I'm developing myself a lot. They are really intelligent people who inspire me, where well, they are students a lot. They are really highly educated, have a lot of experiences. Professor Yonghyun Kim is a theoretical physicist. He investigates fundamental properties of matter using first principle quantum mechanical calculations. I'm doing quantum mechanics for real material. Here, real material means uh, nanostructured material, uh, such as graphene, carbon nanotubes, and quantum dot. And I'm predicting this kind of nanostructured material based on density functional theory, which is core of quantum mechanics. And then uh, I'm doing uh, this kind of business with a supercomputer. And with the uh, help of this supercomputer, I can propose a new functionality of uh, this emerging material. We purposely select faculty from a very diverse background, from pure theoretical physics to chemical engineering. We also select students from a very diverse background, and we also require them to take core courses in physics, chemistry, biology, and experimental laboratory in their first year. I think the curriculum in the program is very helpful for the student because the older student in the first year, we have to take the, all the basic courses as a mandatory, so I think it's very helpful. We do so because nanoscience and technology by definition is a highly interdisciplinary research and also because we believe that it's only through interdisciplinary research that we can make great impact. Professor Pil Han Kim is an optics and photonic researcher and he develops imaging techniques to see living things in ways never seen before. Noble in vivo visualization technique we are focusing on is uh, some kind of uh, imaging technology, some kind of non-invasive imaging technology which can be applied to living animal and then which provide very high resolution enough to see individual cell and nanomaterial in tissue. People have developed many good nanomaterial for drug delivery and for other therapeutic use, but still people don't know how those nanomaterial works in our body. And then the, this imaging visualization technique will give us answer to those kind of question. Why, how, when those nanomaterial is, is distributed in our body. We are very fortunate to be selected to be part of the world-class university program by National Research Foundation of Korea. That is a program that seeks to establish new departments in the cutting edge area of research with help from faculty from abroad. We were awarded a grant of about $5 million per year for five years to establish a new department in the area of nanobio research. After only five years, GSNT is establishing an international reputation as a top-notch research center for both faculty and students. Our department is new and growing, so I think it's very supportive for young students to do our research. They offer us the new and the latest equipment for experiment, and also they provide some good chances to encounter the cutting-edge research from the very famous research group from out of the campus. We envision us being the nucleus for generating knowledge and technology that can uh, greatly impact human lives. It is my wish that uh, my uh, students and the researchers will use the education and experience that they gained from here and fan out and uh, generate uh, high quality, high impact knowledge 
not just in nanoscience and technology, but in uh, the overall field of science and technology.